And you Abdul? <clears throat> what is justice? Hey, Muhammad Zaid uh, blocked you. Who are you to block you? What is your name? What is your name in Pal Talk? You are the coward. Give me your name. I will call you. You are a coward. You did not. Did you text me? Give me your name, Pal Talk. I will. I will call you right now. I will, I will put you in the screen. I, I, have you ever heard of somebody in Pal Talk? His name is Ali. Your ID is Ali in Pal Talk. I mean, is that an ID? Are you stupid or what? <laughs> Liar. Yeah, I get that. I get that. Have you ever heard of an ID of somebody in a program? Have hundreds of thousands. His name is Ali. That is the most stupid statement ever. His name is Ali. True story. Any Abdul? His ID, wise man. Uh, okay, this is wise man. Well, he did not say to me, uh, I am a Muslim. He said, send me a text. He says, hi. <laughs> hi, hello. <laughs> it's me you are looking for. <laughs> okay, wise man, I'm going to text you. Hold on. Here we go. And I'm going to call you in front of everybody. Answer. Hello. Hi. So Mark sixteen is a forgery. It's deleted from most Bible versions. What is that? Mark sixteen. What about Mark sixteen? Is that is that in the month of Ramadan? Your quote in Mark sixteen is deleted from most Bibles. It's deleted from most Bibles. What happened? Is that verse eaten by the goat? No, it's an, it was added by the. Uh, 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 no, no, hold on, hold on. You need to tell me what happened to this verse. Is it? it oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. So no, 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 no. Where Mark sixteen is deleted from from most of the Bible? Can you show me? Hello. Hello. Yeah, it's not in the English Standard Version. <laughs> okay, this will mean that the, the translation is a stupid, like your prophet. So. No, no. <laughs> no, no, it's not deleted. Here we go. I will show everybody. Here we go. No, 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 you are a certified you are a certified donkey you are a certified donkey now i'm asking you i'm asking i'm asking you i'm asking you i'm asking you i answered you i answered you and i showed you that the verses in front of us the holy shut up shut up i answered you you are a liar secondly can you show me can you show me can you show me can you show me the book of mark in the quran all the book of mark Mark 16. Can you show me the book of Mark in the Quran? Why why the prophet of Islam did not mention the book of Mark? What do you think? It's not even inside. I'm asking you why you're a prophet. Why you're a prophet? He did not mention the whole book of Mark. What happened? Mark 16 is a forgery. You first you need to accept. You that. see, you you are you, okay. You are a kid. You are a kid. You want to repeat yourself. You can repeat yourself as much as you wish. You are the forgery. You have to prove it. Open up Mark 16. I have it in, in the front the, of me in the screen. I put it in the screen for everybody. That's in, that's the King James version. <laughs> it doesn't matter that's what version. version. This is what the Bible says. Mark 16 is there. Put it in the English. Abdul, Abdul. Here we go. I'm, I'm going to play it for you. Here we go. Listen carefully. Shut up. Shut up. Mark 16. Do you see? And when the Sabbath was passed, 
you're Mary an idiot Magdalene. because shut up shut up shut up listen uh, 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 carefully it's not 16. in the original shut up shut up shut up it's been added Mark Mark David Wood. <laughs> Mark 16 uh, is a forgery uh, Abdul you are Versus the forgery you are the forgery let me ask you let, let me ask you let me ask you okay you see I, I answer see you ask me a question why you don't why you don't, why you don't even listen listen this. listen 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 potato why why you don't want to what they want to have a conversation why you just want to repeat yourself over and over and over is all right let's one? have a proper conversation okay i want to ask you there is a verses which is missing in the quran eaten by the goat do you think mark 16 is one of them there's no verses missing from the quran what do you mean here we go i will show it in the front in the front of you on the screen here we go go on okay All right. And anyone can check Hold on. Mark 16. Don't, don't look at anyone. Yeah, it's in front of me. I, the I, I, change, I change the translation. It's there. You are a liar. Everybody can go. And now, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Is, is, you said you said there's nothing missing in the Quran. Read with me carefully. The hate in the front of you on the screen. Yeah, that's abrogated. There's two types of abrogation. This is abrogated. So who <laughs> who is the one who abrogated this verse? Who is the one who abrogated this verse? The goat or Allah? That hadith doesn't have a strong chain of narration. No, this is Sahih. No, no, it doesn't have a strong chain of it narration. It is, it is, it is a strong chain of narration, and this is the book no, of, no, of Elijah. And here we go in the front of you. It it's says well, this is a correct hadith. Stop lying. Stop lying. No. Okay, hold on, hold on. You just said, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Everybody heard you saying this verse is abrogated. So you agreed that there was a verse which is about to stone him to death, correct? Yeah. Okay. And there's a verse about a breastfeeding for adult, correct? I don't know about breastfeeding. For what adults. do you know? So you know about Mark, but you do not know about your religion? Because I studied Christianity. You study nothing. You are an idiot. Here we go. The verse in front of us. The verse, the verse in the front of us. You are, a, you are a stupid liar. There's nobody believe in this. And now I'm asking you, why the nobody verses? Believes, hold on. Nobody okay. Hold on. Okay. 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 Hold on. Hold on. We will go with you. We'll go with you. We'll go with your lies. You agreed that the verse of stoning to death is was there and it's abrogated. Did you say that? Yeah. Okay. What is the verse which abrogate this verse? It's in the Quran. Where? Is that in Mark 16? No, I can show you that verse. Okay, show it to me. Here we go. I'm, I'm, I'm waiting for you. I will give you 10, ten years. Fair I will enough. give you 20 years. If there is any Muslim in the chat, you want to help this Muslim brother, please help him. The goat no, in the Quran. I don't need help. You do not need help. Okay. It's going, Mark 16 idea. Okay, it's that. going to take you 10,000 years. David okay, hold on. Don't change topic. Don't change topic. Here we go. So, Mark 16, obviously, is, is, is it's the, a forgery. It's a forgery. Uh, okay. Even Mark, even David. Wilson. You see, Abdul, you are a potato. You are a potato. You are trying now to skip. I want you to show, oh, you want you to show me where the abrogated verses for stoning to death. I can give you a general ruling. What general ruling? No, you said to me in the Quran a second ago, everybody heard you saying, I said to you, yeah. what is the abrogated verse for this verse? You said to me in the Quran. I want you chapter, to show it to me. Yeah, chapter 2. Chapter 2. Verses 106 to 107. 206 to 107. Okay. 106 and 107. 106. Okay, well, read the verse for us where it says that this is abrogation for the verse you mentioned. No, it says oh, any verse can be abrogated. This is not that you see, don't be stupid, idiot. That means the whole Quran can be abrogated. I mean, you are a stupid, are you an idiot or what? Where is the verse you said to me? The abrogation for that verse is exist in the Quran. Where is the it verse? Is no, where is the verse abrogate that verse? Because in order to abrogate a verse, you have to replace it with a verse. Verse about it. Where is the verse abrogate stoning to death? That's the verse. It's a general ruling. That's stupid of you. Secondly, I want you to show me one Muslim in the world agree that the verse of stoning to death is abrogated. Otherwise, you have to admit that you are a certified donkey. 
I think you've lost the plot. No, no, I'm asking you, I am challenging you to show me one Muslim in the whole world believe that the verse of stoning to death is abrogated. Which means it's not Muslim to follow. Believes, huh? Every Muslim believes that. No, you practice it. Do you practice stoning to death or not? No, maybe I don't practice what? stoning to death now. What? What? I don't practice uh, stoning. Because no. you're a potato. I'm asking you, do Islam practice until now, stoning to death, according to Islam? Yes or no? Yes. Okay, so why they practice it if it's abrogated? Are you donkey or what? How you say to me it's abrogated and Islam practice it? Because the verse is abrogated, but not the ruling. Ah, the verse is abrogated. Okay, show me where the Quran says that the verse is abrogated. The in 106 and 107. No, this verse doesn't say that. The verse says here, if Allah wants you to cause to forget the Quran, He will give you something better or similar. Did Allah give you something similar or better? Yeah. Where? Where is the verse similar or better than the verse of uh, of stoning? Show me. Where in the whole Quran speak about stoning because it says <sighs> something better or similar? Show me either. Show me either better or show me either similar. About the lashings, today. the lashings. What? The lashings. No, that lashes is not abrogated. This one is still the same. <coughs> this is no, no, that the, one. The stupid the, idiot. This that the, one for single people. Stupid. You are, you're a donkey. I think that you've lost the plan. Stupid. You're stupid. Stumbling. That verse. Are you getting angry that, for? that verse is a for for single people who they are married. Stoning to you've death is for married people. Topic. Listen, Abdul. Listen. Listen. I'm asking David you, Wood you know, said Mark be honest, be honest with you. And you're, no, you're saying he's no, lying. You are, you are a donkey. Don't, like don't say David Wood, he says something. You are a liar. Yeah. You are a donkey. Oh, I'm asking said, you. I'm asking you. Listen, listen, listen. Uh, no problem. No problem. Right listen, 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 right listen, listen, listen. Oh, wow, no, right no Christian believe that this is a forgery. You are the forger like your prophet. I'm asking you now. Now, according no to, Christian, according to everybody, listen, according to every Muslim, who is the one who sent Mark 16? I'll show you David Wood. who is the one who sent mark 16 down is it Allah I'm playing the video for you uh, no don't play don't videos for me <laughs> you want to play video for me <laughs> five <laughs> yes stupid idiot you see guys when the Muslim they speak about something they can't handle the truth <clears throat> uh, if there's any translation I can make now a translation and I take the whole chapter off. I can take the whole Bible off. That is a translation we don't accept. Even if the meaning is wrong, it's a translation made by a translator. If we show them now, Muslim translation which quote in verses, as an example, the translation of what is named this guy, the one who made number 19. What his name, guys? Anyone remember? The one who was killed in Arizona? The Muslim they say we don't accept it. This translation is rejected by us. You see the hypocrite how they are. But we have many Quran, they don't match with the Quran. Even Uthman himself, he burned many Quran. Uthman himself, he burned many Quran. Why he burned the Quran if they are the same Quran? Quran Ibn Mas'ud don't have the chapter of Al-Fatiha. Umar Ibn Al-Khattab, he said the Quran was a million and twenty-five thousand letter. Today the Muslim, they have less than 270,000 letter, which means more than 85% of the Quran is missing. When we show him this hadith about the goat eating the Quran, look what he did in the beginning. He said this verse is abrogated. To have an abrogated verse, you have to replace it. And there's no Muslim belief. Actually, he said to us, it's abrogated as a verse, but not as a ruling. Not as a ruling. What the point of abrogating the verse? How the rule, how the how the verse can be abrogated if you follow the ruling? And what the point? Why Allah don't want you to remember the verse? Is there is something wrong with it? Oh, what happened? They cannot find the verse in the Quran. But they remember the ruling, so they practice the ruling. That's exactly what happened. And here it says, breastfeeding for adult. Where is the verse for breastfeeding for adult? Aisha, she explained what happened to the Quran. The goat ate it. The goat ate it. 
as simple as that if there is any Muslim want to say that this is not true anyone who is a Muslim want to say something there is an Imam, his name is Suyuti. Let us see how many uh, verses missing according to Suyuti. Read carefully with me. All those are by Imam al Suyuti. He counted 57, 57 count of corruption in the Quran, and he is a Muslim Sunni. 57 story proving the corruption of the Quran. But this does not mean 57 verses are missing. No. That means there are thousands of verses are missing. Look what this guy said. He said that the verses of Estonian to death was abrogated. Look what Omar he said. Let me get him busted. I hope he is listening and he will laugh at himself. And we will show it to you from Sahih al-Bukhari, which is a very Sahih hadith. You're a liar. There's nobody believed that this verse is abrogated. Not by ruling and not by verse, but it's gone, it's missing. Look what Omar he said. I am afraid that after a long time has passed, people they may say, we do not find the verses of a regime. The guy does it say verses? Does it say verses or a verse? It says verses, right? That's mean there should be we should have verses, not a verse. Not one. Verses of a regime. Regime means stoning, stoning to death in the Holy Quran. And he is afraid that they might go astray, astray from the obligation which Allah has revealed. Okay. If it is abrogated, why Omar he believe that he's afraid? Allah abrogated. Is uh, is Omar correcting Allah? Is Allah is stupid? Who is the one who will abrogate the Quran? It's Allah. Okay, if it's abrogated, then Omar, this is after the death of Muhammad. That's it. There's no change will happen. Muhammad is dead. No addition will come to the Quran, and yet Omar is afraid. That people will not practice the death. Why? Because they cannot find the verses. Not because it's abrogated, you liar. Do you see it, people? He is not, if, because if it's abrogated, he should not be concerned because Allah, he made it abrogated. That's it. If Allah made it abrogated, Allah is all wise. He's not stupid, supposedly. If Allah says I abrogated, that's it. Omar, he cannot uh, complain about Allah's decision. But Omar, he is saying it clearly, we cannot find it. Omar said, I am afraid that after a long time passed, has passed, people may say we did not find the verses of our regime in the holy book. And he confirmed that it is verses, not one verse. So why you are lying saying to me this verse is abrogated? What a big fat liar you are. If it's abrogated by Allah or the or the Prophet, no Muslim will complain and no Muslim will say, I'm afraid. Hmm? Any Muslim have a comment? And don't worry about Mark 16. Aren't you the Muslims you challenge us to practice Mark 16? Now Mark 16 is a forgery. 
<laughs> and you know what? Let us go with you. Let us say you are now excited. You found that Mark 16, according to you, is a forgery, but that will not change anything. Still, Mark 6, Mark, the whole book of Mark saying that Jesus is God. So, what the difference would make for you? Still, Mark proving Muhammad to be a false prophet. Any Abdul? Who is Abdul? And he said to us, a new life version does not have the mark, Mark 16, correct? I never heard of this translation before, but here we go. This is Mark 16 in a new life version. Do you see it? You say this not exist. This is a new live version. And by the way, this is just a translation. There's many translators. So? Do we have any Abdul here? So this is the best you come with? And look how they deny. They say, um, uh, this hadith is not sahih. So what you are saying to me, it's a it's a forgery. So you are complaining about forgery in Christianity, but you are agreeing that Islam is a forgery because this is the books you call it sahih. So how you call the book sahih, but it's the book of forgery? Do you see guys the stupidity? You are saying that Mark 16 is a forgery, and the second I show you your book, you say this is to me, this is a forgery. Anything make Islam look stupid you say it's a forgery and why Islam is based on Sahih transmitted hadith why Allah need the hadith to prove Islam. I thought you have the Quran Why you need the hadith even your prophet he said don't write hadith just to show you how stupid Islam is I never saw a stupid cult like this. Muhammad, he said, and this is not a forgery. This is Sahih. <laughs> I mean, guys, look at the look at this madness. <clears throat> Muhammad said, "Don't write down anything from me." And he who took down anything from me except the Quran, he should erase it. Did you? Does it say that? People, does it say that? So why you Muslim you have Sahih al-Bukhari and why even this hadith is written this hadith in itself is, is, a, is, a, is against Allah Prophet Imagine I say to you don't make coffee and you say to me that uh, he just said to you don't write hadith you write that Muhammad he just said don't write what I say only write Quran and you write the Prophet he said don't write what I say <laughs> The religion of the most low IQ ever. Your prophet just told you, don't write the hadith. You are writing the hadith, saying the prophet says, don't write the hadith. What's wrong with you? He just said to you, don't write that. You write it down. Me.